the Arizona State Senate Judiciary Committee moving forward with a bill that's designed to help fight the opioid crisis here in Arizona. And if passed, it would allow murder charges to be filed against deaths relating to fentanyl overdoses. Nicole Garcia joining us live at the Arizona State Capitol this afternoon with more on this. Nicole. The bill is SB 1029, and, and so what it would do under that bill is a person who supplies the fentanyl that eventually leads to a fentanyl overdose death, that person could then face a felony count of first-degree murder. So essentially anyone, whether it be a drug dealer or a friend of a friend, who knowingly passes along a fentanyl pill that leads to another person's death could face the same charges as suspects that are accused of intentionally shooting and killing another person. Now, the bill was heard in the Senate Judiciary Committee this morning, and it passed four to three along party lines. So four Republicans voting yes, three Democrats voting no. Republican State Senator Anthony Kern introduced this bill and says the harsh sentence would deter fentanyl use. According to the Arizona Department of Health Services numbers, more than 1,500 people in Arizona died just last year alone of confirmed opioid-related overdose. And so far this year, 13 suspected opioid overdose deaths have been recorded. That's just since the beginning of this month. Those against the bill include De Democrat State Senator Alma Hernandez, who says it's hugely problematic, won't reduce fentanyl overdoses, and further criminalizes drug addicts. Again, that bill was passed in the Senate Judiciary Committee, and now it moves forward throughout the state legislature. Reporting live, I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News.